Who is Strawberry Hill? What do you do? Who does it belong to? Strawberry Hill Nature Preserve is a place for the entire community. It is a nonprofit education center and is open to the public throughout the entire year. It is made of over 600 acres of pristine Pennsylvania woods and has 10 miles of hiking trails. Throughout the year, Strawberry Hill holds many programs and events designed to bring your family together with nature. Strawberry Hill Nature Preserve, it's where the love of nature begins. Strawberry Hill is a unique and a precious asset to the community. The one thing a lot of people don't realize, and I've heard people say this, that um, they thought that this was a private organization. You had to belong to at least come here and hike. No, you don't. This is, this is a community asset. It's open to anybody. Just come and enjoy it. Well, the water here at Strawberry Hill is um, protected as part of the Swamp Creek watershed. That's something Strawberry Hill works really hard to do, to protect the headwaters of Swamp Creek. My name is Brad Smith, and I'm a naturalist up here at Strawberry Hill. The water starts, actually, we have all of our springs on trails up on Swamp Creek Trail. Uh, you can walk up, you can see uh, like where all the springs begin, and they all feed into Middle Creek. And uh, the stream just slowly builds up, and then it runs down into Tom's Creek through Omitsburg, and then into Monoxy, and then just on down into Chesapeake. If you can tap into that curiosity, and you can get people outside and get them motivated to be in the environment, then that's a way that they can make a connection. And if we can help foster that by, you know, telling them what they're looking at or encouraging them to do something, then I think we're teaching people how to be aware and how to pay attention. And I think that can benefit them, not just in their relationship with the environment, but also in their relationship with a vast variety of things that they encounter in their lifetime. I think it's important for people to realize that we have this sort of incredible educational outreach that, that spans all ages, but really is focused on younger kids and kids in school um, situations, you know, from kindergarten on up to high school. Well, my name's Fred Froelicker. Um My grandfather, Hans. My grandmother, Joyce, first purchased property up here. And later, after my grandmother passed away, my grandfather remarried Francis. And then they started purchasing more and more properties back in the 62, 63, somewhere in there. It's an amazing story of a woman who's been an activist all of her life. Frances Froelicher has 500 acres of woods and streams in Pennsylvania. For years, it was her weekend escape from her home in Baltimore. Now, she wants it to live on long after she's gone. Frances Froelicher doesn't get around as quickly as she once did, but there is nothing slow about her mind, and time has not even begun to make a dent in her love for her Strawberry Hill Nature Center. I've had this property for 30 years, and I've fought, bled, and died for it. Well, can you smell the air, breathe the air? Yeah. Clean air? You know, our city is not that, <laughs> we don't get this kind of air. And of course, this is a mountainous community, so it's much cooler up here. Hans has been gone for 14 years now, and Frances is concerned about what will happen when she's gone. But she has a vision. What I want to do here is to have this a center for environmental education for children. And we had, how many children we have this morning? 18. 18 from a church group, and we have school groups too. So we're doing all that with volunteer environmentalists. Upon her death, Strawberry Hill will be willed to a foundation. The trouble is, Francis doesn't have enough money to keep the center operating when she's gone. But she says she's a battler, and this is one battle she'll win. It is a, uh, a jewel that's waiting to be discovered by a lot of local people. And I think if they came out, and maybe some people think you need to be a member to be here. We encourage membership, of course, because that's part of the way we support the preserve. But you don't have to be a member to come out here and hike and participate in what we have here. And if we're lucky and we do things right, uh, Strawberry Hill will grow and, uh, and, and encompass you know, a broader um, audience. 
my name is Teresa Fortner. I'm a retired school teacher. I just, I just love it. I would encourage anyone, you know, if, in my age bracket to, to come. Well, my name is Russell Ryan. They call me Rusty. I actually, I can say this. I was fortunate to meet Mrs. Froliker. I'm pretty confident she'd be very happy what's going on here. She set aside this and, and I think we've taken it to the next level and I think she'd be, she'd be happy about that.